Guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to convert this old style light switch over to this super nice and futuristic looking motion sensor light switch that will automatically power on your light for you immediately when you walk into the room. So I'm gonna be doing this for my garage because every single time when my wife get home from work, when she needs to carry in the groceries from the car, she hates getting out the car and have to head over to the light switch and turn it on just to have the light to go on so i no longer want to hear her complain so that is why i'm going to be converting this old style one over to the new style motion sensor that way immediately when she is home or whenever she walks into the garage the light will automatically power on whenever there is her presence all right so the motion switch we are going to be using today is called ellie grip the reason why i picked this one is because i did a thorough search online and it seems that most of the motion sensor lights which look the same but this one kind of stood out because it looks much better more futuristic and the details and description also seem more promising so here's the box for it guys let's go ahead and open it up and show you what's all on the inside first of all we have the user manual you do not need this because i will show you exactly how to install everything we have two little screws and of course the main component is this right here the motion sensor light switch as you can see it guys looks really really nice now the nice thing about this is it does not and i say does not require a neutral line all it have is the green red and black line so the green is the ground line the black is the life line and the red is the outline and the rest of the things that's in here is the plate and lastly we have three wiring caps all right, so before we get to work, the most important thing you need to remember is go ahead and turn off the breaker that goes to this switch right here. That way we will not get electrocuted when we are working on this switch. So let's go ahead and take this off. Alrighty guys, before you completely remove all the wiring from the old switch, make sure you mark down and know which wire is which. So this naked wire right here, the wire that goes to this green screw at the bottom, this is the ground wire. And the wire that is over here, the one that is on top, which when you turn the light on, it powers it on, this is the out wire. And the line at the bottom here is the live wire. So this is the black. So this is black, red, this one is green, and it does not require a white neutral line. As you can see right there, my house does have a white neutral line in the back right there, but we are not going to be needing that. So you can just leave your white neutral line alone. So let's go ahead and remove all of this. And again, remember all the wire guys. This one, the out is the red line, the black is the life line, and the ground is the green line. Okay, one thing to note here while connecting the wires, as you can see, I have already connected the red and green wire. When it comes to the black wire, sometimes some houses are different. Like my house right here, the black wire, there's two black wires attached to it. So just go ahead and take both black wires from the old switch and connect it to this new black wire right here. Now, if your house has only one black line, then just take that one black line out and connect it to this black line right here. And then you are pretty much ready to go. All right, after everything is wired up, you can go ahead and turn on your breaker. And then now you can test the button a few times. You can turn this light on and off manually at any time by pressing this button as you can see right there, guys. Or you can just leave it off like this and walk out of the room and come back in after a minute or so. It should automatically turn on if you connected everything correctly. So let's go ahead and screw everything back into the wall and then I'll show you how to schedule the timing and the sensor of the light switch. So when screwing it back onto the wall, this two screw right here was already on the light switch itself. So all you have to do is screw it into the wall. And then for the face plate right here, guys, just use a flat head like this and then stick it into the little end and then poke this thing out. This piece come out like that. So you're gonna first put this piece onto here and then all we're gonna do is snap this piece onto it. So there's no screw visible at all on the outside, but you will have to screw one right here and another one down here, the screw that comes inside the box, the tiny little screw that looks something like this right here. But before we put the face plate on there, we want to go ahead and set up the timer and the sensor for it first. Go ahead and use a flathead or you can just use your finger and then lift out the button. And this button will actually fall off. 
just like that and this is where you actually set up all the timer and the sensor as well so this is the time right over here the one all the way on the left so if you put this on the little black dot it will be for 30 seconds to test the switch if you turn it over to the zero it will stay on for one minute switch it over to the one it will stay on for five minutes and then after five minutes it will automatically power off and then switch it over to the number two it will stay on for 15 minutes and lastly switch it all the way to a number three the light will stay on for 30 minutes before it turned off and for the sensor as you can see they already have it all the way to the most sensitive which is good that way whenever someone walk into the garage or the room the light will immediately turn on and this one over here the vacancy you want to go ahead and leave it at three also that means the light will turn on whenever it sense a motion or somebody walking in so let me go ahead and turn this over to one that way the light will stay on for five minutes before it turns off off. And of course you can leave it on 15 or 30 minutes before it turns off whichever works best for you. Once you are done simply push back the button. It snaps right in just like that. And then from now on every time when somebody walk in the garage or the room light will turn on automatically and then after five minutes it will automatically power off. Or if you leave the room before five minutes you can always turn it off manually or turn it on manually anytime you want. So it's time to go ahead and put back the faceplate. And just like that guys, we are done.